outrage in Texas this morning among wildlife activists. A hunting group auctioned off a permit to kill a black rhino in Namibia. But the animal is considered a critically endangered species. The backlash is so heated, the FBI is now involved. Don Daler is with us. Don, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, Charlie. The Dallas Safari Club says the hunting permit is for an older, non-breeding male rhino that's been responsible for the deaths of other rhinos. It argues that killing this animal is good for the greater good of the species, an idea many people find abhorrent. Of the roughly 5,000 black rhinos left in the world, Namibia is home to almost 2,000 of them. But its rhinos, specifically the rhino's horns, are worth tens of thousands of dollars on the black market. So to raise funds for its conservation and anti-poaching programs, Namibia grants up to five permits each year to hunt black rhinos. This year, an auction for one permit was handled under tight security by the Dallas Safari Club. How are you doing? Ben Carter is the club's executive director. 100% of the proceeds from the sale will go directly to the Namibia Wildlife Products Trust, which is their, their trust fund for conservation. But for many people, where the money goes doesn't matter. Susan Oakley was among those picketing the auction. We think it is ludicrous to say, oh, we're doing this to save this species. We hear that, we've heard that from hunters from time immemorial, and it really does not hold water. Jeffrey Flocken of the International Fund for Animal Welfare says the auction sends the message that rhinos are worth more dead than alive. Rhinos are very rare, and it's one of the most coveted species to see by people who want to go and enjoy the wildlife without killing it and taking it out of Africa. The auction's unnamed winner paid $350,000, which beat the old record of $223,000. Carter says the rhino selected for the hunt would have to be culled from the herd anyway. Although Namibia has been issuing these permits for years, this is the first time the auction was held in another country. The Dallas Safari Club received numerous death threats, such as, for every rhino you shoot will kill 10 of your members, and the winner of this hunt will find himself in the crosshairs. The club turned the threats over to the FBI. Conservationists point out that an earlier program of selling confiscated ivory to raise money has done little to deter elephant poaching, but culling herds of old, sick, or problematic animals is a common wildlife management technique.